Hey guys, it's Jeff and today Apple did in fact release watchOS 6 and this video is kind of a guide or tutorial on how you can go ahead and get the update to watchOS 6 for your specific Apple Watch. So the two things that you'll need today is an Apple Watch. Here I have the Apple Watch Series 4 and then you will need an iPhone which is correctly paired to your Apple Watch and you will need to access the Apple Watch app. Now once you have these two things, you are all set to get started. But if you have been enjoying the watchOS 6 betas, there is one more step before we get started that you guys should definitely follow. Go into the Apple Watch app, then go to general, and then scroll all the way down towards the bottom of the general page, uh, down to profiles. And here you will see the watchOS 6 beta profile. Definitely remove that from the app here um, so that it removes it from your Apple Watch. Once you go throughout the removal process, you go through all the prompts and everything like that, uh, go ahead and restart your watch just to make sure that that profile is no longer on your Apple Watch. Now, for those of you who have already done this or if you weren't on the watchOS 6 betas, uh, this is where you guys will go ahead and get started. Now, go ahead, make sure that your Apple Watch is plugged into a power source. It needs to be continuously plugged into a power source throughout the update and you need to make sure that it's at least at 50% charge. It can't be in the 30s, it definitely has to be in a 50% or higher range for the update to go ahead and get started. Now, the next thing that you'll do is go ahead and uh, grab your iPhone, go into the Apple Watch app, go to general, and then onto software update. Now there the update for watchOS 6 should pop up. You can go ahead and tap on the learn more button. That will give you a lot more information on what's going on with this update, kind of all the new features and what watchOS 6 will bring to your Apple Watch. I personally love the uh, kind of noise notifications, uh, the calculator app being added, and of course the, your kind of own app store on the Apple Watch. Those are just a few of many features that are coming to watchOS 6. We'll be doing a full review on watchOS 6 in the next few days, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, but we'll just finish out on how to get this installed onto your device right now. Now, after you go ahead and click the install button, make sure that as the install process continues, that you make sure that this um, Apple Watch is continuously powered. So you don't want to accidentally knock it off the power source. Uh, definitely make sure that this is connected to power throughout the entire process until it is complete. Now, I personally, uh, the update came in at around 1.4 gigabytes for the Apple Watch, and that's quite a big update. And it's using a lot of time downloading and installing through my iPhone. So I personally uh, wanted to run a charging cable just to make sure that my iPhone was uh, continuously charging throughout this process as well so I wouldn't lose that much battery life on my iPhone. So those are my two recommendations. Just make sure that this is completely snug and not going to uh, kind of disconnect from its charger and you might as well charge your iPhone while you're at it because they need to be close uh, for the update to complete. So guys, that was our tutorial tutorial or kind of a mini guide on how you can go ahead and update your Apple Watch to watchOS 6. Uh, we'll definitely have some more content like this coming in the near future on how to update to macOS Catalina and iOS 13 and iPadOS 13. So definitely hit that like button on the video, get subscribed and hit the notification bell button to get updates on when that content is coming out. So again, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll be seeing you in some upcoming videos. Peace.